A portion of this video is sponsored by Google Fi. This looks a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. I was going to jump off for my intro, but I think that's not a good idea. Wait, are you trying to come up here? Come on, come on, Moon. Come here. Whoa. Okay, if she can do it, I could probably do it. I can do that. That's not. We're doing it. <laughs> Hello. I'm Janelle, and I used to live in this van with my pet snake, Alfredo. We lived in this van for about three years, and then it died. R.I.P. R.I.P. to the blue van. <laughs> and then I bought another van, and then that one died too, the day after I bought it. I haven't shared that van with you guys yet because I don't want to talk about it. So, I got another van. Before anyone freaks out, it's a rental. I've decided to rent a van for a few days because I have just like this void in my soul as the van girl and I haven't been able to van life because now I have three vehicles that don't work and it's been a couple months since I've been on the road and I've just been having a little bit of an identity crisis. I'm still hammering away at the RV. That project will be done one day, but for the time being, I just really miss being in a van, just driving off into the sunset, the solitude, the freedom, you know? You know. Anyways, let's hit the road, baby. It's like so weird being in a newer car. There are so many buttons. It's just so complicated. Okay, we got here. We made it right before sunset. Oh, it's cold. The sun's going away. I don't know, forecast that it's gonna rain tomorrow, but I just don't think it will. Like, it looks pretty clear to me, but I don't know. I was gonna try to sit through the whole sunset, but I can't feel my fingers, so we're walking back to the van, and I'm gonna go get some food, because I'm starving, and then we'll get ready for bed, and, um, you know, just, just do van life things. <laughs> van life is honestly not that different than regular life. Hello again. So I went back into town to get some gas and some grub and I am so tired. So I'm going to get into some comfy clothes and let's have dinner together. I miss you. I miss this, us, you know, kicking it in a van like the good old days. Even though this is not my van, one day we'll, we'll be in my own van again. What's cooking, good looking? Um, I'm really liking this little seat table area in this van. In my van, we just sat on the floor, kumbaya style, but this is pretty luxury. I'm so hungry. So today we are eating fried mushrooms. It's delicioso. I have a vegan BLT and some salad and then this like spicy dipping sauce. I am pumped right now, but you can't tell because I'm tired. I'm ready for, ow, ow, <laughs> bed. This is where we part ways, my love. I gotta catch some disease and I will see you in the morning. Good night. Before we continue on with our day, I just want to give a huge thank you to Google Fi for sponsoring this portion of my video. Google Fi is a phone plan by Google. There are two plans that you can pick from, the flexible plan, and if you're someone who doesn't use a lot of data, you definitely can save some money getting the flexible plan, or you can get the unlimited plan, which is the one that I have because I use an absurd amount of data, especially when I am traveling in my van. Um, I almost never have Wi-Fi. So having data is a must for me. It's something that I love about the unlimited plan is that I have a hotspot. Just being able to use my phone to tether data to my other devices has just made my life so much easier. And I don't know how I did three years of van life without a hotspot. So that's definitely one of my favorite things about having Google Fi. The data that I have with Fi's unlimited plan is immaculate. Not only do I have 5G and I have really good coverage, 
Um, all my connections are also secured with VPN. So now that all my work is done on the internet, it's just really nice to know that almost everywhere I go, I'm gonna have high-speed 5G on a secure connection. Something that I think is also really cool when you sign up for the unlimited plan is that you get Google One at no extra cost. So for those of you that don't know, Google One is cloud storage. So when you get the unlimited plan, you get 100 gigabytes of cloud storage to save all of your memories. As you guys know, because I've said it a million times already, I've had a rough couple of months with vans breaking down in the middle of nowhere. So Google Fi has really come in clutch because I've had really good coverage and really good service. So I was able to call for multiple tow trucks over the past couple of months. I definitely recommend checking Google Fi out. It is super simple and easy to set up and it literally has everything I would ever need in a phone plan. And I just wanna say thank you again to Google Fi for sponsoring this portion of my video. My legs are kind of sore from jumping off my van yesterday. So is that doesn't indicate something, then I don't know what does. Oh, my back, I can feel it already. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah, you know, just Olympic ready. I knew it was not gonna rain. The weather forecast said it was 90% chance of rain and there is definitely sun on my face right now. You guys know a funny story about this teddy bear? So it's actually my best friend's teddy bear. Her boyfriend, now ex-boyfriend, gave it to her and um, she was gonna throw it away because they broke up. And I was like, halt, me and this teddy bear, we have a connection. Oh, while you're here, I actually have a question. So, you know, Y'all have deemed me as the van girl and I haven't had a van, a functioning van working in a couple months now. Like what's another thing that I could live in? How hard would it be to get like a submarine? <laughs> That's literally like the first thing that goes through my mind. I'm like, what about an airplane? Let me know what you think. What should I consider a home? <laughs> and nobody say home. Nobody say regular schmegular house. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I'm just not ready yet. It's starting to drizzle, so that's my cue to leave. So on to the next location. My favorite part about van life is driving. And you can just do that in a car. But driving a van just hits different. Anyway, since I don't have a mount, I can't talk to you while I drive. But by the time we get to the next location, it's gonna be nighttime. So I will see you tonight. I got coffee and croissants. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? So basically, what had happened was I was driving as I do, and then I just kept driving. And long story short, I just drove and now it is 5 a.m. Therefore, I am going to go to bed. However, I think it's very important that you guys see the sick onesie. Has a hood and detachable booties. So on that note, good night. Hello, good afternoon. So I woke up at 5 a.m. I think I checked in with you guys at that point, but um, I decided to wake up at 7 a.m. so that I can watch the sunrise from the beach. But a million other people had that exact same plan. So it was just really crowded. So I decided, given the state of the world, to just keep trekking along and find another spot that's a little bit less crowded. There's a few spots along the coast that I call my secret spots that are usually like empty. Like I usually have them to myself so that I can be in solitude but those spots were compromised too. So I decided that since this is my last day with the van that I was just gonna drive. There was nothing too exciting for me to show you guys. I just drove for like seven hours straight and now I'm back home. Honestly guys, I think in my past life, I was a truck driver. I can just drive for hours and not stop other than to get gas. Like I can just drive. If this YouTube thing doesn't work out, I think I have a very promising career as a truck driver. But anyways, thank you for coming along on this little trip with me. I know we didn't do anything too crazy. I just needed a little taste of van life again, just a little of van life. It's been way too long, but this trip definitely inspired me to finish my RV and get my own vehicle back on the road because I miss this. I really miss this. I love you guys and I'm gonna stop talking now. Toodles.